welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my spring barn tour. So I've been waiting quite a while to actually do my spring barn tour because it is almost summer but for quite some time I did actually still have white fabric as the ground because I didn't really have the time to go purchase this nice little grass lawn. Now all the winter trees are out and all of that, so now the final barn tour is ready. Anyways, let's dive right in. So right from the start, we see Emma and she's actually riding her Andalusian stallion. This is actually a neck rope that one of my friends made me. To the left of him, we just have this nice little corner, kind of like the end of the dresser with the chicken, the guard chicken. Um, her name's Peggy, named after one of our actual chickens. And there, it looks like there's just some apples and some oats just for looks, um, but yeah. When we go inside, there are four stalls and in these stalls, we have the lip is on her mare in full the retired Arabian mare in full. And in the cross ties, I actually added on some cross ties just to give it a little bit of a touch. We have one of my retired Frisian stallions. And over here is one of his barn hands and she's just bridling him up. If we go to the right, there's the retired Hanoverian mare over here. She currently does not have a foal. And over here is the retired Tinker mare and her foal. All right, if we go to the right, there is the main paddock. It's actually quite small and cluttered compared to a lot of other people's, but I don't really have a lot of room, so I like to just kind of put everything mainly here. But on the ground, I just have some, just some pellets, and just they're just for looks, I guess. Like, it looks like a horse tipped them over. Um, I'm actually selling these on my Etsy right now for $3.20. Um, but yeah. If we go up, we have Finn and he's actually being bridled and he's also modeling one of my halters. Right here, we have another one of his owners and she's also bridling him up. If we go this way, there's just the grooming kit, some treats and one of the barn dogs. He's a little Boston Terrier or French Bulldog, I kind of forgot. If we go over here, here is one of my new models. He's modeling my July halter. I'm hoping to do a July restock, um, but we're gonna see where that takes us because I'm hoping to get some sales um, before I do one. So hopefully that goes well. In the paddocks, I know it's kind of cluttered, but it's kind of just like um, four horses. There's the retired nap strippers and the, I don't know if they're retired, but there's the Arabian mare in full, and I also have some little food dishes, but they're actually just painted caps. But yeah, they're good for decoration. All right, now if we go down to the last area, it's the riding arena. Right here, we get greeted with some little grooming boxes and some apples. Right here we have one of the lesson girls and she's just watching one of the lessons going on in the in the warm-up arena. Right here we actually have a fly mask I made. Um, I was going to put them on my Etsy but I'm also waiting to get some sales again. If we go this way it's the entrance to the arena and we have one of the barn cats. This is Tubby and there's also just a halter or not a halter a bridle and a saddle just right here. If we go in, we have Charlotte. She is one of the current nap stripper mares. She's actually being lunged. And this halter that she's actually wearing is actually one that I bought from Infinity Briars. Anywho, if we come on in, there's a jump in the back. I don't know if you can see that. And we actually have one of the little girls and she's just taking, or she's getting ready for her lesson before they start. And right now she's on one of the little lesson ponies. And to the left of her, we have a girl. This is actually her mom and she's riding Western today. But yeah, quite small, but I quite enjoy it. But I guess I can do a little tour of this area. All right, if we go down, this is just, um, this is just some stuff I've gotten over the past years. 
from showing horses along with up here. All right, if we go down, here are some of the horses that are not currently up there. In this drawer, we actually have some packaging stuff because I'm hoping to get some sales on my Etsy soon. Cross my fingers, knock on wood. Okay, um, but yeah, underneath it, we actually have some more horses. I don't know if you can see that, but they're mainly just horses that I paint on. And in here, oh boy, um, this is mainly some of my crafting stuff, like a lot of horses that I don't really like, or just horses that I don't really want to see. Down here, this is one of my photo booths. I actually use it for some of my Etsy photos. Now this bin, I'm not gonna show anyone because it's actually quite not personal, but it does not have anything horse related in it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and yeah, just come join this crazy horse family. Bye guys. Also, let me know what you think of um, these blankets because I really wanna post some more stuff. I'm just waiting for a few more sales. Um, but these are some new blankets that I've started making and let me know if you're interested and maybe I'll post a few. I take it back. I posted this this blanket that he's currently modeling um, like uh, 10 minutes ago. But let me know if you want me to post more. I also make them in full sized, really cute. But yeah, here's my Etsy if you're interested.